So here we look at how to customize graphs. So let's come into fitness and then under fitness, this is our table. Let's go to graph builder. And then you have this, so we can drag in, let's say name. Okay, maybe let's just do numbers. So let's do age versus weight. Okay, so you have this graph area and let's drop this one down. So here you can start with this point where you have the show panel. So we can actually hide the panel and just have the graph that we have. And under the graph, we can show, let's say the title on show it. We can have age and just show whatever that we don't want to show. Check on check to remove these. Then you have the legend. So here it's here, but you can bring it anywhere. Let's say a bottom, then it moves. And then you can bring it also to the side if you want. And then the legion settings can be done. So once you have the legend, you can actually add a title to it. And then you can also move it up or down. So you can move it up or down. Whatever one that you want, you can swap that. Once again, you can check that so that it, it removes or you can uncheck that. So once you remove it, you see it's, it's not there. Or once you remove it, it will be there. And then the color theme can also be changed. So let's say you, you choose, let's say this one and change the color theme as well. And then the position, um, the title position is left, but you can make it auto, whatever that you want. But if you put it on the left, or you can put it on the top. So whatever way that you want it and an item wrap and you can also change the font. Once you're done, you click OK and then you have that accordingly. So anytime you see this drop down, it gives you more options to the graph builder. So it could be, let's say, if you come into parallel plot, you see parallel plot and you see this red It's more options to the parallel plot and you can come to color settings as well so we have continuous color theme and you can can play with this accordingly and just make sure that you have nice graphs here you can also come to the lock scale so the lock scale locks axis and gradient range so that they do not change in response to the data or filtering changes so once you lock it and you go back to or you do some data filter and you change or you filter through it it's not going to change that scale because you've locked it and although the data will be chopped off it will still be it will still be there for you let's go back to the graph builder and let's unlock scale so you can also fit to window or put it on auto then sampling randomly select a sample of the data of the size specified this is useful when the data is large and all so you can say okay sample 15 and it just does it for you so you can do the graph spacing and also include missing categories set alpha levels launch analysis from here so you can actually also launch analysis we haven't gone into analysis but you can do that from here and let's say put in you have weight so you can have a model build and and just run let's say any of these models on them accordingly so that can also be done from here and also make into data table so create new data using the current image so if let's say you filtered you've done some stuff here and you want it in another one once again the axis itself can also be edited so once you double click on the axis this gives you the x-axis and you can change the scale from linear to log or to whatever scale that you want you can also change the format we have fixed decimal but you can make it let's say, percentages instead of numbers and you can just change it to whichever one that you need 
you can change the minimum so this is where you can trim the axis so here it's 41 to 45 to 57 let's make it 45 to let's say 55 so that can be changed and then you can also flip the axis accordingly so let's do a reverse so it will move from 55 to 45 and for this side this is where you can change the thick increment so it's five so it's going from 45 to 50 so that's five but you can make it let's say 2.5 here and also add minor text to it and text offset can also be done then here you have the access label here so you can change the font to to that accordingly and have strike throughs on the line just edits the text here and you have minor text major text can also be done in here you can add labels to that and then you have reference lines so if you want to add reference lines you can also edit them on that accordingly but any changes that you make you see it here so you see that here we have a preview and we have 45 to 55 and then we have the minor text being shown and that is how it looks like once you're done you hit okay and then it just changes you can do same for the y just double click and now this is for the y axis and you can make any change and this is the preview of what change it will, it will be and then you can change the labeling by just double clicking and just this becomes editable so you can just write into it and same for all the axes just change the lab the labeling accordingly you can also right click on it and then you can swap with age so for instance here was age so once you swap then you have the two axes being swapped easily you can also remove and you can come in here to the font as well change the font right click again you can rotate the text to the left so that usually you want it that way you can have that you can also copy the text hide then mark up and also edit even further here also the graph area itself so once you right click on the graph area you can edit the point so you have point and you can change um, the graph type itself so although we have it here you can change it to let's say a heat map that's for the point you can change it to a box plot you can you can change it to a line you can you can change it to an area or whatever that you want in here maybe even contour can be changed too so that is that is also something cool to note where you can actually change the type here as well let's bring it back to point so that is that you have the type you can change it accordingly you can also have summary statistics so once you come in you can have a summary statistics on that so you can have summary statistics you can do error intervals and all of that in here on the point and then you can go to smoothers and just change that here also and you can add maybe point and let's say you want to add a point you can can just do that change the rows change the graph so change the point stuff accordingly also when you right click you have let's say graph you can change the background color here and then you can come to graph again you can do the background map the marker sizes can be changed um, the marker is just a dot here you can come to graph again you have the drawing mode you have the marker select type so it's always preferred mode is used but you can change that the borders the size scale the transparency can also be changed and then this one is for the rows so you can just edit that and then what can you can add is also here you can just add something to it let's say area so although you still have the point you can add something else to it so you have let's say bar so now we've added a bar too so on that same plot 
we have we can add so many different things to the plot um let's do one more let's say heat map so now we have that here and anything that you do you see the legend updates accordingly also for you so that's how you customize your graph area